Well, when we talk about inclusive finance, we are thinking about the range of services that we use as financial consumers. So we're thinking not just of transactional bank accounts, we're thinking of access to savings, to investment, to, to insurance, um, and of course to credit. And when we talk about inclusive finance, we mean the provision of appropriate services in all of those categories to kind of reduce the friction uh, and struggle of particularly low-income people. Let me give you an example. Um, think about somebody who is perhaps a seasonal worker and they obtain income only a certain number of months of the year and they may never um, actually open a bank account. They may assume that they would it's inappropriate for them. And there may be, of course, over time, the provision of a service where, based on the fact that they are able to accumulate income over the high season, um, they are then able, introduced to a saving product which allows them to ensure smoothing of their consumption patterns in that period of time when they don't earn income. Uh, another example might be somebody, a small um, business owner who perhaps runs a store in a, in a market street. And we know from what people have told us that the most important product to somebody like that who is in fact the business um, is something like health insurance. Because if that person is off sick, nothing happens. There's no income coming in. And for that person, the very best health care is the best thing that can be provided. And so for that kind of person, we need good health insurance rather than the insurance of the products on sale at any one time. So we're talking about extending financial services to ease the life the lives and livelihoods of that of those people.